Our top seven picks for best men's glasses for astigmatism coming up, stick around. Hello and welcome to My Glass, Tyler. I want to talk to you about our top picks for men's glasses for astigmatism. I'm going to go over a quick little spiel about what astigmatism actually is. Then we're going to get into the frame so you know what to expect out of them, kind of why they're on the table. And then ideally at the end of this, you'll have a good idea of what will work well for you. If you decide to buy one of these guys or you're interested, don't forget about Sporter X and definitely don't forget about our Seabitter Guarantee. Because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. We're really taking all of the risk out of buying eyewear online. We just want to make sure you're happy with what you get. You can also, by the way, reach out to our opticians who are very friendly and very knowledgeable and would love to help you get it right the first time. And that's what we're here for. We're here to be a resource to help you get what you need. So definitely use us as a resource and reach out to us. So what is astigmatism? Well, it is a very common eye condition where essentially it doesn't fall into the category of farsightedness or nearsightedness. Essentially, everything is blurry. Uh, it just means that your eye is shaped irregularly. Instead of being a perfectly spherical shape, like a basketball, it is shaped uh, differently in one direction than it is in another direction. And it's kind of more like a football as an extreme example. It is very, very common. It is actually rare that a prescription doesn't have at least a little bit of astigmatism. Uh, it is much more common to have even just a little bit of astigmatism than to have no astigmatism at all. And it really is something that people get a little nervous about it. They think, oh no, my vision is really bad because I have astigmatism. It really isn't that big of a deal. If your astigmatism is really strong, it can cause some, some trouble here and there. I mean, if you wear eyeglasses and you're fine with glasses, it's not a big deal. I have a fairly strong astigmatism myself and I put my eyeglasses on and I can see just fine. It's no stress. If you're getting into contacts or getting into more wrapped sunglasses that it can cause some issues perhaps because they can affect the frame options that you get it can cause you a little more distortion if there's wrap if it's a giant lens there are some things to get into but in terms of just the astigmatism in and of itself it's not really a big deal and it's very easy to correct with eyeglasses and so that's what we're talking about here i will note that really and truly when we talk about our top picks for glasses for astigmatism there, I can't think of many glasses out there that won't be able to handle astigmatism, even strong astigmatism. Eyeglasses are designed to be very RX friendly because that's the only thing that most people aren't getting them just to look cool. Most people are getting them to put their prescription into. And so really what we did is we just picked some of our favorite frames because why not? And so here we are, let's talk about them. First up, we have a Costa. This is the Ocean Ridge 100. This has everyday performance features. This is a really solid frame, super lightweight. Of course, they went with their bioresin nylon frame material, which holds its shape. Instead of going for the wrap behind the ear design, they went for the straight back temples. And on the tips of those temples, you have some grip as well as in the nose, embedded in both cases. The embedded element uh, means that you can count on it not peeling off. Uh, there are different methods of applying grip or some kind of grip material to a frame, and they went with the better method. So it is solid, reliable, very good, straightforward, rectangular shape. They did a good job of making this a really straightforward frame, but still having some cool details like this uh, three separate colors you have here uh, on, on the temples. I mean, it's it's a really good frame. Interestingly enough, this is available in two eye sizes, a 55 and a 57. And now I'm gonna tell you what the SFWs are for that because it's important to keep this in mind. As I talk about sizing for all of these, uh, that SFW really matters because it gives you a better idea of how something's gonna fit. Just because it says 55 or 57 eye size, which typically would be large and extra large, this fits more of a small to medium. So the 55 eye size has an SFW of 130 millimeters and the 57 eye size has an SFW of 132 millimeters. And that is because they had this temple design uh, come in quite a bit. 
on the insides or, or the temple tips. You can see that they're not going straight up and down. They're coming in quite a bit. And I think there's a little bit of curvature in this frame as well. So if you like a little bit of wrap and you are more of a small to medium fit, this is a pretty good option for you. Just keep that in mind. It fits a little smaller than you might think. Next up, we have the Randolph Engineering Plymouth. I love Randolph Engineering. They make amazing frames, very well known for their aviator styles, for being a good American brand. They are handmade in the USA. They are really a solid style. They did go with an interesting, you see me adjusting the temple here, an interesting temple design where it is designed to wrap a little bit behind the ear or around the ear. Uh, they did this cutout and you can see it at least in this version where the temple tip is uh, somewhat see-through and they did a little bit of a notched or ridged metal so that you could keep the strength and the rigidity instead of making it a thinner metal they made it more adjustable bendable i don't know how to explain it differently than that i don't think they have a name for this uh, but it is a very interesting de uh, design detail that does also mean quality which is no surprise coming from Randolph. They make amazing frames. I like this style uh, quite a bit. It's a little more of a squared lens shape. You know, all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares, right? Uh, however, this is a little more of a squared design, which usually you find more of a rectangular design. Uh, and I appreciate that quite a bit. The They went with this frame front design, which is a seamless metal across the top of the frame and what you get with that is a little more durability a little more structure as opposed to having the nose piece here just having two weld points you have a full solid piece of metal all the way over the top where there are multiple weld points where the eye wire is connected to that metal piece uh, so just another good nod to quality and durability they also went with a kind of a keyhole bridge design here, which isn't functional as much as aesthetic because it is an adjustable nose piece being that these are metal. Uh, it, it's a really solid style. They also have a very unique hinge design here where it, instead of them welding hinges onto it, they actually designed, they kind of welded it on. It's very unique. I, again, they don't have a name for this that I'm aware of, uh, but it is a very cool design detail, very minimalistic, and it looks like very, very durable. I like these guys, if you can't tell. This comes in a 50 eye size, which gives you an SFW of 133 millimeters, which lands you in that medium range. Next up, we have a Rudy Project. Again, very well known for their sunglasses, especially their cycling sunglasses and sports sunglasses. We have some new eyeglasses, which I really like. This is called the Step 2. Uh, it's uh, obviously a part of their newer ophthalmic collection. Really cool nose pad on here. Uh, it doesn't have grip in the nose pad. It is just a solid plastic piece, but extremely comfortable. So it has just enough flex to give you that comfort, but still maintain rigidity so that it stays on your face. And then you have temple tips that have grip and are adjustable, but really just in and out. Uh, no, you could wrap it behind the ear if you want. Uh, it, it is, uh, uh, honestly, I guess you could go either way with this. You could go with more of a straight temple. They have the length here that is sensible to go with the straight back, and then you could bring it in your head a little bit. But if you like it to wrap behind the ear, you can do that as well very easily. This is a, an extremely lightweight frame material. It is all plastic. This does not have any spring hinges, which I'm a big fan of no spring hinges because... As an optician, if you've been in the optical world for any amount of time, you usually see those break. And when they break, there really is no way to repair them. So I like to see no spring hinge on a frame. Really solid style. I like the round shape. I'm a big fan of round in general, but also it is really good for stronger prescriptions, especially astigmatism. As it gets stronger, you start to get some differences in the curvature and it can get really thick. But if you have a round shape, you tend to lose a lot of that additional thickness because what happens, especially with a minus prescription, is it's thicker the farther you get away from the center of the lens, it gets thicker. So the thickest point is going to be usually that outer corner of a more squared or rectangular shape, which you cut off in a round shape. So big fan of that. This actually comes with three nose pieces to give you that perfect nose bridge fit. 
And when it comes to sizing, this has an eye size of 48 millimeters, which lands you at an SFW of 134 millimeters. Process that a little bit because we started with the smallest and its eye size was a, was a 55 and a 57. This is larger and the eye size is a 48. It's very interesting. And that is why that SFW is important to know. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about men's glasses or perhaps you have prescription needs, well, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly and knowledgeable Sporter X opticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more men's frame reviews, unboxings, and astigmatism content, check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. Next up, we have the Oakley Money Clip. Big fan of this style. It is actually the rounded version of the very, very popular Oakley tie bar, uh, essentially the same design detail, except that it's round. The tie bar is very, very popular. This I think is a little underrated, maybe because it's round. I'm a big fan of round. I think more people should be wearing round glasses uh, and it is very cool. And again, we have that round shape. So more friendly to astigmatism. I will say that this, if you have an especially strong prescription, this may not be the best option for you because of the way that the frame holds the lens. This is what we call an inline frame. So it holds the lens by putting a, a groove in the lens and then the frame actually sits inside that groove. So very, very low profile, looks amazing, really, really cool. But if you have an especially strong prescription, you're gonna see a lot more of that lens thickness. So only not good in the, in the event that you're not a fan of showcasing lens thickness. Doesn't matter to everyone, doesn't matter to me. It works really well. Otherwise, uh, just something to note, this frame is awesome though. Fully titanium, literally everything is titanium all the way down to the temple tips. There is no grip, uh, but it does have adjustable nose pads. The nose pads are also titanium. Very cool, uh, sleek design. Again, awesome style. It is with a spring hinge, but it's Oakley, so they do it very well. Another design detail that I love is that this incorporates Oakley's latch system, which means that you can actually latch it on your shirt to make sure it doesn't fall off. Even if you go down and do a little wiggle, it's gonna stay on your shirt, so that's pretty cool. When it comes to sizing, this is a 50i size, which lands you at an SFW of 135 millimeters, which is in that medium to large range. And next up, we have a Rain. This is the Rain Nolan. This is one of our absolute best-selling men's frames. Rain is actually all handmade and also designed in California. It is very local to us. They're actually in Oceanside, which is uh, where I grew up. And so I'm that much bigger of a fan of rain. And I mean, there's really no reason not to love these frames. They're amazing. They're very well made. They have some really cool, unique colorways. As you can see here, we have a clear, uh, clear colorway. This has a five barrel hinge system, which is made out of surgical steel hardware, wire core, sturdy frame construction, really good and straightforward frame design. A little bit of a keyhole nose bridge design here. I mentioned that earlier and I said in the earlier frame that it wasn't really functional. Here it is because this is a plastic frame design and that keyhole bridge gives you a little more versatility in bridge fit. So awesome style out of rain. This comes in a 55 eye size, which lands you at an SFW of 136 millimeters, which is around that medium to large range. Next up, we have a Spy. This is a new addition, a Spy's optical lineup. It's called the Helm Optical. What's really cool is that they took their very popular sunglass frame and they turned it into an eyeglass frame. What I especially like is that they didn't just pop the lenses out of their sunglasses, put clear lenses in and call it a day. They really redesigned this from the ground up with the inspiration coming from the classic helm and they made a really cool pair of glasses. It has the same bold lines as the classic, but just uh, mostly a smaller lens size. Some differences in there as well. They didn't just shrink it. They, they did a really good job, I think, of making the helm optical and I'm a big fan, so thank you, Spy. This is available in a 54 eye size and a 56 eye size and the SFW is at a land you in is 137 and 142 respectively. So that's in the large and then the extra large range. So definitely good for larger faces. And last but certainly not least, we have the Maui Gym. This is the MJO 2211, 2211. Get a little bit hard to remember these things, but 
uh, we'll have links so you can click on those for sure. This is more of a squared lens, but still rectangular. That's why I was saying I like this a true square lens. It's a little less common, but obviously everything that comes out of Maui Gym is top shelf quality, and these are amazing. This frame is made out of acetate, so really, really good quality plastic material. It does have a spring hinge, but again, it's Maui Gym. They did it very, very well. Some of the finer details that I appreciate for sure are the mountainscape etching that you get on the wire core for the inside of the temple. It's just that level of detail that you're gonna get out of Maui Gym that you don't see in a lot of other brands. The temples are very much adjustable. You can wrap it behind the ear, just typical of your plastic frames. Most eyeglasses are done that way. Uh, there are a few exceptions really, but for the most part, that's what we're all used to. And so they do that. And then with the nose bridge, straightforward plastic nose bridge, it is the largest on this table with a 55 eye size. This has an SFW of 140 millimeters, which is in that large to extra large range. Again, a call out for the SFW, because if you remember the very first and smallest frame on this table also came in a 55 eye size. So how does that work? Well, SFW helps you to know what will work, how it will fit practically. And that's why we do it. So that wraps it up for our top picks for men's glasses for astigmatism. Again, at the end of the day, there isn't really anything that makes these eyeglasses all that much better than other eyeglasses. When it comes to having astigmatism correction, you can feel free to really choose just about any pair of eyeglasses out there, but these are all amazing and they will all work very well if you have astigmatism. Really even strong astigmatism with that one guy here uh, as a little bit of a note, side note, just be aware of what to expect out of that. If you are interested in shopping for any of these, stick around for a moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And again, if you're ready to order from us, do not forget about our See Better Guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And if peace of mind is your thing, again, don't forget about us opticians because we'd love to help you get it right the first time. That's the whole reason we're here. So definitely use us as a resource and reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like, because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you're ready to shop any of these great styles, click this button right here. And if you'd like more content to consume, as we all do, you should check us out on our social media outlets. I think you'll enjoy it. That's the only reason I recommend it.